本当バカね桐生のこと大事だっていう気持ちはわかるけど昔からそう you are the girl's only hope. メカに思い入れが強すぎるのよねバルカン法が笑ってるは言ってないメカの気持ちはわかるくせに人間の気持ちには疎いし So, Missy, let's discuss shittiest songs ever from the movies week. I think that was the theme, right? A shit show. There was some justice because the people who sang Brian Adams' songs. Say what you want about Adam, but at least he went up tempo. These kids, they, they're like putting me to sleep. Adam, I, I find myself laughing and smiling when he comes out,、yeah. and I enjoy it. I like him better some weeks than others, but he skipped out onto stage this week. Get your motor running. Get out on the highway. Looking for him. And you know, interestingly, this was the week we finally got the historic judges save.、Yes. How did you actually feel about that when it went down? Well, I wasn't all that surprised because I felt like Simon had sort of、uh, he'd been winding up Matt, asking him, okay, how many times have you been in the bottom two? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's good news. And there wasn't that much time left for them to use it. And I think it was pretty clear that Simon had broken up with Lil Round. You are not the artist I believe we met seven or eight weeks ago. <laughs> he dumped her for <laughs> Allison finally. You are the girl's only hope. <laughs> 自分の息子が気流隊にいるのにどうして我が子を危険な前線に送り込みたくないんだ。You know, I'm not shocked they used it either. There was no way they weren't going to use it at some point. Right. I don't really think Matt deserved it. His performance was not great. Right. He had a lot of pitch problems. I actually liked the beginning, and I was just、mm-hmm. saying to my husband, I was like, this is actually pretty good this week. And all of a sudden, he went into the bridge, and the caterwauling began. <laughs> And then, actually, when he sang it on Results Show, it was even worse. It was even worse. <laughs> and also, I think you said this in your recap is that how many chances is this guy going to get? I was sort of moved by how excited he was. And、yeah. anytime anyone cries, I'm like, okay. I, I cried. I, I,、yeah. I did. I, you know, there were tears in my eyes. And I was like, what is wrong with me? Like, <laughs> this is someone I hadn't really been rooting for. I begrudgingly come around to him, and I actually think. He's more talented than Lil and deserved to last longer than Who her. Who isn't? I really want to say something real quick. And I think he may be a more interesting artist than even Danny and Anoop. But I think so too. I don't necessarily think that he was such an egregious elimination that the judges should have overruled it. I feel like they should have just let it go. And I'm a little bit worried like, what happens next week if somebody like Chris or Adam or Allison gets eliminated. Although, you know, frankly, I don't believe in the judges' save anyway, so I think even if one of my favorites gets eliminated, I don't necessarily know that they should use it. I really want to say something real quick. With Lil, she really dodged a bullet this week. I think the only thing keeping her in the competition for the last several performances was the fact that the judges kept reminding everyone、mm-hmm. what a great singer she is,、right. which she has never exhibited、mm-hmm. really on the big idol stage. I thought The Rose wasn't her worst performance. I actually kind of liked that she at least made some effort to do something different with it. It's that stank attitude that I think is really playing against her. And she probably thinks that she's just fighting for her life, but I don't know if she realizes how badly she comes off. She really does. She's defiant and argumentative and yeah, desperate. She, and she's never articulate when she no, does it. I thought that I did good last night. No. She, It takes thought you her... did well. Yeah. Thank you for that. Ultimately, what they should say to her is Lil, you only hit、you、about、saw. half the notes. Your problem isn't the song, it's you, it's how you sing it. You know, and I would just say, Lil, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Take a little walk right on off the stage, Lil. <laughs> Two words, you know? I mean, honestly, the judges could learn to say, to express themselves、mm-hmm. in like 10 words or less. It might be a good thing. It was weird this week watching them do the tandem two person、yeah. judging. How is it possible that the judges are more annoying when there's only two of them speaking? Than, than during the usual four windbag formation. Exactly. The thing for me, for you. Poor Chris Allen, though,、I、ends、know. up with 
Randy and Kara and gets possibly the worst critique in the history of Idol. It never quite caught on for me. Clearly the guy has never heard of the movie once or never heard the song. He probably doesn't even know that there's a place called Ireland where the movie took place. <laughs> and it was the best thing of the night. It was He was the only contestant, Chris was, who took a song that was counterintuitive, that mm -hmm. he took a chance, and it was amazing. Sing your melody, I'll sing Just on song choice alone, everyone should just stand up and cheer because yeah. it's nice to hear someone pick a song that's not, you know, a top 10 hit right. from 1983. And done to death. And then you've got Kara calling it an obscure song. It's like, well, it kind of won the Oscar last yeah, year. Yeah, exactly. Kind of, yeah. you know, a big deal. Exactly. Maybe not in their world. I know. It just seemed so disrespectful for him to have to sit there and listen to Randy. I, I was know. so psyched I know. on results night when Simon was like, You know, we didn't get a chance to talk last night. Okay. Chris, you were brilliant. But didn't you love that Randy, like, little brother who has to copy everything that Simon does, <laughs> says the exact same thing? We didn't get a chance to talk last night. Exactly. Dude, you worked it out. You did your thing, Danny. It was so embarrassing. I don't think Randy realized that it was embarrassing. I can do Me that, too. too. Me, too. <laughs> totally teacher. Fun. Teacher. I really want to say something real quick. The one mystery that got solved this week, though, was uh, Quentin Tarantino saying he was a big fan of Lil Round. I'm a big fan of Lil Round. And I have to say, just, like, standing next to her as she was uh, singing The Rose, it was thrilling. It was really cool to be there. And I was like, there's one. Yeah, you're the one. <laughs> she has a fan. <laughs> like, somebody's been voting for her. I don't he know who. put her in his next movie. He always likes to pluck people from obscurity, and maybe she'll be a better actress than she is a singer, because, yeah. man, I'm done with her. Like, yeah. I can't take it anymore. Maybe that's the way to go. You know, she can certainly do a stunned eye expression if, yeah, it's, a, exactly. if it's an action or horror film. That, ah, ah. And she can be all stank attitude. <laughs> <laughs> are the girls only hope間違いありません。この文章は四十三年前にも中条氏が共和国の空港に描き。モスラを呼ぶことに成功したものです。二人は無事なんですか？この文章を最後に描けばモスラはどこにでも現れる。別荘で勝負しはそう言ったのかね。